All right, guys. Good morning. <laughs> I slept in, but um, it's like nine thirty. Um, it's really nice and warm today. Not gonna lie, it's Sunday. I'm gonna do a cold start here for you guys. Uh, remember, I had the green. It's good. It's a green speed Caddy J pipe. I just installed the uh, Takeda air intake last night. But I just want to show you guys the difference. That the exhaust is is really loud. It's a lot louder than what it is. But it doesn't idle. Um, it doesn't idle really loud like how it did with the with the factory downpipe. So I'm gonna start this up uh, right by the exhaust here, and then uh, I'll let you guys uh, you know do your own review on this. Green speed Caddy J pipe with the carbon cap back exhaust system, and then, like I said, I have my uh, I have my Takeda air intake system as well. Like I said, I'm gonna let this run for like five, six minutes because usually that's when it idles back down. So the oil needs to the oil needs to warm up.
is at idle. Let's go ahead and check the uh, RPM, son. Uh, let's see here. Almost, I think, 900, 900 RPMs. Um, you're probably wondering what that little orange car with the little, on the hill. I disabled the hill assist um, three weeks after I got this car back in December. So I'm at 40,000. Where am I at right now? Currently at 40,208 miles. So, oh yeah, check out this Takeda sticker guy. I was trying to put him on the air intake and it didn't work out, so it's a window sticker. But, like I said, after, like I said, after it's, uh, it's at idle, it just, I don't know, to me it sounds a little bit better on it, on the tone, and, and it doesn't sound as raspy, uh, just, um, when it was just with the cap back itself, but it does have a much more deeper tone now, and, and, uh, I don't know it just sounds like a full race exhaust now to be honest when I let when you let it rip you know so uh, I'm gonna like I said later on I'm gonna do some wide open throttle pulls and uh, uh, the, on the inside cabin with my phone here and also the GoPro that's gonna be sticked to the rear bumper so and uh, that is all I'm doing for the performance mods right now but like I said later on I'm uh, later on, I'm gonna do TGV EGR deletes with the boost control solenoid. I'm actually gonna trade. Uh, I'm actually gonna switch out that turbo inlet hose for the parent turbo turbo inlet hose as well. And then uh, probably looking at new wheels. You know, uh, I want to switch out these wheels. There's nothing wrong with the wheels. They look great. You know, for for stock. I'm gonna switch them out. I'm, I'm actually gonna try and switch out the the wheels to be white. So white wheels on the on the blue lapis uh, blue lapis WRX. So other than that, um, I think the only newest addition uh, behind here is Deadpool. Check him out. So um, I'm gonna be hanging out Deadpool. I'm gonna hang him up too while I'm at it. Hang this little guy. So. Thanks for tuning in guys, like I said, uh, I know it's a long video, I highly doubt anyone's going to watch 8 minutes of this, but I just want to show you guys, like I said, fast forward to the video and, you know, let me see if you guys want to do the same exhaust setup as I'm doing. Like I said, good speed Caddy J pipe with the carbon cap bag exhaust system, and yes, I just got done and um, I did the install on the, on the Takeda Pro Dry 5R uh, intake system. And that was installed last night, so that's what's running right now with with the exhaust system. So, other than that, like I said, uh, <clears throat> I'll do some. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing some wide open throttle pulls later on on, on the GoPro and in, in the inside cabin. So you guys can see if you guys see if you, if you guys can see a difference. But I see, I, I feel, <laughs> I, I hear a difference uh, with the intake system. There's a lot more blow off valve, uh, bypass valve action. Yeah, you can hear the turbo whistle even more so but that's something for you guys to watch later on so thanks for tuning in guys